Hello again everyone, we are Gaming by Gaslight and welcome back to another episode of Lord of the Rims. We, yep, we definitely have actual audio again, so that's, <laughs> that's a comforting sign. Anyway, when we last left off, what was going on here? Manhunting bedbugs. That's, that's just gross. <laughs> Alright lads, fight up. I mean, as far as I can tell, it's just the two. Yes? Yes. Yes it is. Alright. I think I can leave them to their own devices. Except for Gain. You know what? Gain, you can just stand there. Let let the undead do the job for you. Make life that much easier. Just, uh, hopefully none, no one else dies because then we... There we go. Jolly good. Then we run the risk of not being able to carry everyone home. That was a thing I did, wasn't it? Yeah, we're carrying the corpse of uh, Kona. One of our dearly beloved friends. Do I want to bring these iron urns? I mean, we do have the... You know what? Screw it. We'll take everything. Alright, maybe not everything. <laughs> that is probably a little bit silly, isn't it? However... Yeah, it's only going to be 0.8 days. It perfectly fine. So, we'll uh, send them home and, you know, continue working on life back here. I mean, yeah, base is really coming together. We're eventually going to have some lovely bedrooms here. Let's go ahead and wall these up. Actually, hang on a second. I don't think uh, these are even, are they? Nine. Oh no, they are. All right. I don't know why that one looks smaller for whatever reason. I can't really say. Anyway, uh, let's see. I don't wonder. Do you figure I should have a door here as well? Let's see. Four. Oh yeah, because then there'd end up being a double door, and there would be asymmetrical, and we can't be having that now, can we? So we'll just wall this off and we'll mine that out at some point. Right, so yeah, Gain needs his bedroom. We've got the guest room, we've got the prisoner barracks, which also needs to be fleshed out a little. And also, frankly, again, I might I might move the prisoner barracks over here. Just because this is naturally going to be smaller anyway. Ah. Huh. Lots of work that needs to be done around here. Alright, let's see. You know, I like the idea of continuing to have burgundy carpets. That is a lot of material. But, you know, we're gonna keep it because I think it looks nice. Hmm. You want some Malorn wood? It is quite beautiful. I don't think... Yeah, this, uh... I mean, it's not as beautiful as, uh... The stonework. Actually, it is. Alright. And I don't think we have any Malorn wood, do we? Yeah, we'll uh, set up something like that. We should only have to chop one, maybe two trees. Yeah, that should... That alone might produce enough. We might have to chop one more tree. Alright, so that's working out. Our research also continues going. We're getting there. Though Dunsig is... You know what? I should, uh, I should allow raw compost to go here as well, shouldn't I? That way, that way we're just closer. Or, alternatively, just drop it on the floor. I think that makes even more sense. Then we'll have someone come along and pick it up. Let's increase our efficiency. That way, you know, we spend less time wasting running back and forth. Excellent. Everyone's back. Really good. And the prisoner is being carried back to her room, right? Wanda? 
There you are. I'm sure someone will get to you in a second. Maybe. You know what? Just to be safe. Yeah, okay, you know what? Someone is, in fact, uh, going to do that, so that's great. Great enough. Good enough. Oh my, she has no pants on. Oh, but it doesn't matter because a robe is a full, full kit. Are you, are you trying to escape? Please tell me you're not trying to escape, Wanda. And that you're actually going to go back to your cell. I think she might be trying to run. Yeah, I, I... Or maybe not. She might just be pathing through there and I'm not giving her enough credit. Or she's just wandering. Whatever. Alright, I am actually gonna destroy these. I just took all those doors and things for the sole purpose of destroying them for parts. Not that we necessarily need the parts, but, you know, it, it, it benefits us in some small way, so I will do it. And it works out for me, so, you know, it's all good. Oh yeah, where were we on the furniture situation? Right, if we want to have royal beds anyway... What's the beauty on this thing? 25. If I change it to being made out of silver... 56 beauty, and I don't think that damaged the actual comfort of it, did it? Eh, yeah, ebony? Ah, uh, no, you know what? We're gonna go all out. Ah, but then again, I don't know. Does that actually look good? That's another important question you gotta ask yourself with these things. Does it look good? It doesn't really change things. The beauty is 50 compared to 56. So you know what, actually? Let's, uh... Let's make it out of Malorn wood. Real elven style stuff. I know there's some danger to having... Which wood do we get? Only 31. Surely that's a mistake. It was 71%. Oh my god, it did. Probably also had something to do with the fact that we didn't have, like, the most skilled person in the world uh, handling that. Oh no. Oh no. I don't want to chop down all the Malorn trees. We've established not that long ago that doing that would be simply terrible. Hmm. However... However, it may be what's necessary at the end of the day. Doesn't make me super happy. Ah, jeez, if I want to terraform this, I need clay and stone, and that's just... Ah, boy, that's, uh... It's not gonna happen, is it? Are there any close by Malorn trees? Also, this this feels like it's a slower, more meandering episode, especially after those last two episodes, which were, like, super highly edited. That's an impassable tile, so we can't even go there. How many days away is this Malorn forest? Two days. <clears throat> but then again, that's because it's winter. Is it still winter? Yes. No, it's spring. Okay, so we should actually be able to start growing stuff soon. Which is also a generally good sign. Oh no, we had. Okay, never mind. We actually placed all the Malorn wood. Gotta be honest, I'm not sure if I like that texture as much. Oh well, it does the job. I actually think I might need to make this even bigger. Because we're gonna need a lot of cotton. Or then again, why grow this bigger when we know for a fact that, you know, we've been, <laughs> we've been growing this out for this very purpose. Hmm. I don't know, 6 by 10? Does that make sense? 
I suppose so. Let's, yeah, three, uh, three lots of six by ten. Go under farming. You know, is, is a scarecrow seriously, uh, considered? Yeah, because we've, we have the, uh, vanilla expanded farming mod. Is a scarecrow really considered higher than medieval tech? That's, uh, I find that hard to believe. Oh wow, 90. 95 beauty, so this is actually better than an elven bed. But then again, an elven bed is an elven bed. So, a hundred, you know what, okay, we, we gotta add this to the old queue. So much to do. And, oh, right, right, right. The whole idea here is, uh, we would like to grow like to grow some cotton. Like to grow... I mean, we could start making Lembus instead of Cram. Because Lembus gives actual bonuses. Yeah. Well, yeah, I mean, having a little bit of everything is good. Though I think I, I haven't researched how to make Lembus yet. And you know what else? It also occurs to me. I'm going to actually... going to delete this. And you know what? I'm going to fast forward for me... Uh, setting this up, so I will catch up with you in just a second. Alright, I think that, uh, that probably does it. Let's, uh, change this over to heal root, because you can never have too much of that. But actually, no, you know what? I'm gonna get rid of this. And this. And the cotton. I... <laughs> the whole point of this was to prepare a new, uh, actually, I guess this could be our cotton. Well, no, no, hang on a second here. What do I definitely not need right now? Probably the grapes. Let's make cotton more of a priority. And then again, do we want to make beer or... Let's see. Sweet preserving agent, similar to honey. Survives underground, dies when exposed to... Wasn't there some kind of dwarven mead? Might be, it's one of these that makes the Dwarven Mead. Um, uh, what was I, what was I gonna replace this with? Do we want pipe weed? <laughs> sure, have everyone, uh, smoke a classy pipe. But we should make, uh, we should brew our own mead and such as well. Which means we need to have beehives. Which, oh, they are actually under here. Never mind. Oh, here's the Scarecrow. Which... That's what I'm forgetting. We need hay as well. Okay. Maybe these will be, uh... Yeah, we'll have some smaller, uh... Smaller thingamajigs here. A little bit of hay. And... Grow some hops here for now. All right, good. So that should that should cover everything we need. The gaps between these are for eventually uh, placing other stuff. We're eventually going to want to turn this into f tilled soil. Okay. And the plan is to build some kind of fence around this to keep uh, yeah keep unwanted guests out. Uh, what am I even looking for here on floors? We're looking for... Oh, it's under terraform, isn't it? Packed dirt. Pa bleh, yeah, packed dirt. That's what we want. Some packed dirt to create, uh... Some pathing here. I guess this might end up resulting in clear-cutting a little bit of the forest, so... I do feel a little, uh... A little tinge of guilt there. Just a bit. Oh, wait, it actually lets me lay the plans over it again, even though I have already laid them. Yeah. Well, that's our plan. We're gonna... We've got a lot of stuff to do. And I should probably... What is Dunsig's priorities? Yeah, I've lowered construction a little bit for him. Alright, not so bad. And we don't have Mithril, and I... To this day, still am not 100% sure on how to acquire more. 
You know what? It occurs to me just now as I'm looking at this. I got this pattern wrong, didn't I? This should be slate. Oh well. Also, I'm missing uh, something under here. Huh. <clears throat> oh my, excuse me. Coffin and Gagan and... Yeah. Don't worry about me though, I'm totally fine. Just, uh... Just a normal cough. Anyway, so yeah, we've got uh, a lot of work to do. Work is getting done. Dunsig is playing chess. By himself. Alone. Probably because there's only the one chair there. Are we actually out of meat? Apparently we are out of meat, so we're gonna have to go hunting again. I don't think those produce meat. We will, uh, we'll hunt one of each. Then all of this. Yeah, hunt the boars. Uh, was game? Yeah, you're a constructor. You know what? I'm gonna get you to prioritize deconstructing all of this just to free up some space. I mean, I could just install them, but it's not really, it's not what I want right now. Yeah, mead. Drink akin to wine made of fermented honey and water. Is that actually how mead is made in real life? I would not know. I would not know the answer to that question. You know, I should have a farming shelf somewhere. There's a lot of stuff I should have, isn't there? Someday. Someday we will get there. I promise. I don't know when, but we will. Now... Ah, do I really want to do that right now, though? I'm gonna cancel that. That way all I need to do is just place this and then... Whenever we're ready. Oh, right, right, right. Have I... Uh, protecting friends. Right. Um... <laughs> 99 Dwarven Thieves. I'm honestly not confident that I can do that. Mostly because I have no real defenses. Which, again, totally my own fault. Let's actually see. What do we have access to in security? I mean, we could lay down spike traps, but it all depends on where the dwarves come from and how they uh, come at us. Oh dear, what's happening? Ooh, smoke spewer for pay. I mean, it actually occurs to me, if if the raids spawn through here or here, just putting a couple of traps in here would provide us with the protection we so desperately need. However, if you don't accept the quest within one, what is, what's going on here? A Countess of the White Dominion is traveling near a campsite. She is being followed by her enemies and wants your help using signals to draw them towards campsite. If you do, her enemies will activate a site nearby to harass you. There's a smoke spewer machine there being or belching smoke over the whole region and two manhunting boom rats are wandering nearby. Okay. I mean, that's... Not so bad. I'm not going to accept it right away, but I think I am going to take that quest, because that I feel confident in being able to pull off. Dunsig doing. Oh, you're hunting a boar. I should lower your hunting priority, because I really want to get all this uh, done at some point. Is there a magic? No, there's not a magic tab. It's It's all under here. It, that's that wouldn't fit in there. So now we need we need a study, a magical study. Or well, well no, I guess that this would be a, this could be in its own thing, some kind of uh, room for this sort of thing. Yeah. Anyway. I wonder if I should make a barber table and face painting table so that we can, uh, 
pretty up some of our friends here. Oh, and now even Mars. Uh, in fact, they're all, they've all rotted away. And wasn't I not that long ago talking about how our advanced necromancy seemed to be causing our zombies to not become skeletal? Unfortunately, it doesn't seem like that lasted. Oh well, that's life. It most assuredly... Okay, now this is... This is going to be a bit of a pickle, I would dare say. As how... Am I going to terraform this? I know I can. I think I have to place topsoil for... Nope, not top... Pretty sure it's topsoil. Hmm, stone or ice... Oh, oh, you know why I can't do it? It's because I have to smooth the floor first. You know, I could actually probably cancel the all of this. So I will. Yeah, we smooth it out, we place the topsoil, then we place regular soil, and so on and so forth. Then we end up with... Why, why are you cutting down all these trees? Obviously because I ordered them to be cut down and just forgot about it. I'm glad there's no stakes with this. You know, we can just uh, set it up and it'll be done. Let's make a... What is new area one? Oh, I think that was for putting out fires or something. Or making it a priority to grow there, wasn't it? Uh, I'm going to call this, if I can spell, <laughs> cleaning. Because I like the idea of cleaning not just inside, but also on the roadways. And since we're playing a medieval game, we don't have access to those dumpsters that will automatically get rid of some dirt for us. So instead, we must rely on good old-fashioned hard work and elbow grease. And you know what? I think we can handle that. There we are. Still not entirely sure what my plan is with that, aside from having a door go there at some point. And... yeah. I think that's the plan. There we go. A little of... you know, that's fine. That, a little of this. Might as well keep the paths clear. Oh. You know, this... this, uh, little sanctuary of ours, it's really shaping up, isn't it? I, for one, could not be happier. I guess, unfortunately, I am gonna have to get rid of some of the stuff here. Real shame, that. Oh, well, good, the rain's coming to wash away our filth. And do 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 cleaning. Okay, how is how is the pasture looking by the by? It's good, but I am gonna have to adjust it now. Don't want uh, don't want any of our animals getting any crazy ideas that they're going to eat our our food. Let, you know, let's actually mark this area as a pasture. There's not much grass here, but I, I really don't want to chop the trees, but I guess uh, to a certain extent I have to in order to create open uh, grazing territory, don't I? It's uh, not an easy thing to do. Well, I mean, it's, it's actually extremely easy. I just, the hard part is, you know, if, if, I, if I genuinely want to protect the forest, then, yeah. Ooh, some frumbos. Now those are worth a lot of meat and also some high quality fur. But, do we need to kill them? Probably not. We have a fair amount of meat. Not the maximum amount of meat, however. It's actually getting kind of full, so we're probably going to need to uh, start smelting down some stuff again, aren't we? Let's 
So, yeah, let, let's say anything that's, I don't know, 80 or... 80 or less than is... If it's of higher quality, then I can probably sell it for more. And with this, I only want you to destroy Tainted Apparel, because we can't sell it and we can't do much with it anyway. I'm really looking forward to someday raising a wyvern, or a dragon, which actually reminds me. I should do something to ensure we can encounter dragons. I'm pretty sure we can get the, uh, the dwarven quest to go free a dragon's horde. And you know what, with that in mind, let's, let's wrap things up here. So until the next time, as always, thank you all for watching. I hope you all enjoyed. Don't forget to hit that like button. Maybe leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you're thinking. And I will see all you in the next video.